This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. and welcome you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy and the birthday boy for June 11th, 2021. Is this man Jose, Jose, Jose Reyes? You sucked as a blue jay. Anyway, Jose Reyes is 38 years old. He played shortstop for a few teams. The Mets, the Marlins, my beloved Blue Jays, and the Colorado Rockies. Four-time All-Star. He was the triples leader in baseball in 05, 06, 08, 11. He was a three-time National League stolen base leader and the all-time leader for the Mets in triples and stolen bases and the 2011 batting champion. So basically... The Mets spotted him in 99 at a tryout camp and decided to take him to the U.S. with the Appalachian League and all that. The Mets had confidence in Reyes, so much that they traded starting shortstop Ray Ordonez to Tampa. They picked up Ray Sanchez on a one-year deal. Mostly so that Reyes can get some, internet, some playing time in AAA. He would make his debut June 2003 before his 20th birthday, getting a pair of runs. He was the first teenager, like anyone under 20, to play for the Mets since Greg Jeffries in 1987. Basically, Reyes got his first hit against Texas. Um, he had a grand slam in the first week of his career against Gerald Washburn. And Reyes basically was the main starter. Unfortunately, though, he had a sprained ankle and would finish eighth in voting for Rookie of the Year. The Mets actually signed Cassis Katsumatsui, who wanted to play his regular position shortstop. So basically, Reyes was moved to second base and all that. Reyes would get hurt and all that. But Kaz Matsui decided to go back to second base after the 04 season so that Reyes could be a shortstop. So basically, he was met, given the leadoff spot in his first full season in the major leagues. He only got 27 walks and 733 played appearances, which isn't good. But he made up for it with 60 stolen bases. Reyes was actually given a lifeline in 2006 when the Mets brought in Rookie Henderson as a specialist instructor to help tutor Reyes in the arts of getting on base and stealing bases. Obviously, Rookie Henderson is an icon in that. So basically, Reyes did fantastic in all that. All that. He actually was... He actually did some segments for um, the Mets Diamond Vision screen at Shea Stadium, trying to teach him Spanish and all that. Reyes would sign a four-year, $23 million contract in 2006, August 2006. And he looked pretty good. All that. Reyes wanted to have an unusual feat. 20 home runs, 20 triples, 20 doubles, and 20 stolen bases. However, he missed. He was one home run short of that thing. So that wasn't, that wasn't good. That's it. He was 7th in MVP voting. Reyes would be a stolen base superstar for the Mets. But 2011 was his best time and all that. He was the starting shortstop for the NL in the All-Star game. And the rumors he was either going to be a free agent or traded to somewhere. Reyes got a single on the final day of the season against, I guess, the Braves or something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, he ended, he wanted to be removed from the game. 
because he would have a chance at the batting crown. Ron would have finished 0 for 4 that day. And so Reyes won the batting title from a 337 mark. He was the first Matt to win the batting title. He only played in 126 games in 2011, which was the lowest amount of games played by batting champions since Manny Ramirez's 120 games in 2002. He became a free agent, and the Marlins decided to sign him, obviously with a Spanish outlook on things. Well, Cuban and Spanish. Basically, the Marlins were a perfect fit. He signed a six-year, $106 million contract. Reyes would have his dreadlocks shaved off because of the Marlins dress code, probably long hair, all that. Reyes actually ended up being the first player to get a hit at the new Marlins ballpark, Marlins Park, against Kyle Loesch. It was in the seventh inning. That shows you how bad the Marlins were. Anyway, Reyes did pretty well, second in DNL in triples and third in steals. However, his time in Miami would be cut short. As he was traded in the one of the biggest trades of, all, of the 2010s to the Toronto Blue Jays, alongside Josh Johnson, who basically was rubbish with the Jays. Mark Burley, who was a good player for the Jays, say that much. John Buck, who the Blue Jays had a few stints with, and Emilio Bonifacio, in exchange for Jeff Mathis, which turned out to be bad for the Blue Jays because Mathis was just a player for the Marlins. Adele Hechevarria who was a pretty good player for the Marlins, Henderson Alvarez, E of the no-hitter at the end of the 2013 season, Yonel Escobar, it was a matter of time because Yonel Escobar wrote on his eye black, you are gay in Spanish, Drake Morazic, Anthony Descoverly, and Justin Nicolino. <clears throat> so I guess the, the Marlins kind of won the trade in a sense. But Reyes had to be carted off the field a few weeks into the 2013 season after hearing a pop in his left ankle. Reyes would be on the DL for eight weeks. <clears throat> so basically, he, he would have to work his way up through injury rehab. June 26th was when he came back into the Blue Jays lineup. And Coincidentally, the Jays started to pick up the pace after such a bad start to the 2015 season. Oh, no, sorry, this was 2013. What am I thinking? Sorry, my fault. Anyway, he would get his 500 career RBI with the Blue Jays. But on opening day in 2014, he aggravated his hamstring injury running the first base. So basically, that wasn't good. But he did get 30 stone bases for the Jays, playing 143 games. Reyes kept getting injured and all that. The big shocker was that Reyes was traded from the Jays to the Rockies, alongside Jeff Hoffman, Miguel Castro, and Asu Striaco, of course, prospects, in exchange for Troy Tulowitzki and LaTroy Hawkins. To be honest, as a Blue Jay fan sitting in my home in Southern Ontario, it's like, Okay, we might get David Price, and then the, and then basically I hear over the TSN that Tulowitzki got traded to the Blue Jays, and I'm like, what? Tulowitzki for Reyes? Wow. Reyes would have some problems, but he got 19 home runs in his 2015 campaign. Yeah, he had 16. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Why does it say 19 home runs? I think they screwed up some numbers. Anyway, Reyes became a free agent and signed a contract, a monthly contract with the Mets. He would be activated for the Mets July 5, 2016. And he was the spark of a run-deprived Mets offense for the 2016 season. He even hit a pivotal home run for the Mets to send him to the wild card game against the Giants, which, of course, the Giants won. He was basically a utility player by the time 2017 got around. But he got his 2000th career hit, and he got 500 stolen bases, being the 39th player to do that. Hmm. 
I wasn't good at all that. But he decided to retire as a professional player in 2020. He helped the Dominican Republic in three World Baseball Classics. However, his personal life got him into deep trouble, especially with domestic violence against his wife during the 2015 offseason. Reyes would have to be suspended without pay for the first 15 games of the Rocky season. But the Rockies decided a few weeks after he, he was allowed to be back on a roster to designate him for assignments, and the Mets picked him up. So, yeah. Reyes married Catherine Ramirez and have three daughters and a son together. So, yeah, that. The domestic violence thing, the, the charges were dropped mostly because his wife was not willing to cooperate as a witness. Jose Reyes was the cover athlete for Major League Baseball 2K8. Take it over from Derek Jeter. I think I remember seeing this game or something like that. There were a lot of um, new features and all that. Of course, for the PS2 version, you don't get a lot of updates. You just basically get the same game cut and dry and all that. But anyway, yeah, it was a good time. Jose Reyes was a superstar for the Mets, and then basically after he got traded from the Mets to the Marlins, he kind of went downhill a bit. But he's still a decent player, I guess. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.